Hi class, today we're going to discuss doing drums for bossa nova and we're talking about a two bar rhythm. If you remember from writing skills, this is the basic pattern we have for bass and drums for bossa nova. And we're talking about, again, a two bar pattern because the snare pattern changes over two bars. And how do we program this in reason? So we have this clave pattern, ba, chica, da, chica. Da, that we have to program. So what we're going to do is we have here in Reason a basic mixer set up and then we have also um, in addition to that we have our, our doctor, doc, our re-drum here. And now we're going to add a drum set. Let's do Groove Master. That works for me. And uh, we'll say OK on that. And now on the Groove Master here, we are going to change one thing because uh, what's pretty classic in, in Bossa Nova is to have a drum click, a rim click. So instead of the snare, we'll do a little search for rim here and we're going to go look in our re-drum kits and we'll do rim and then we have that rim shot, that one's okay. I'm okay with that. And then we can see if there's any others that we like. We'll scroll on down here. That's all right. I like that one. That's probably the closest to the one that we're going to use. Yeah, I think we'll do that one. So this one's fine, so we'll double click on that. And now that's loaded here, right there. And I might put a little reverb on there. Now, if I scroll up here, we'll add a we'll add a reverb unit here quickly to uh, um, our file here, so that we can have nice sounding uh, drums here. We'll add a little reverb, and that's going to show up right here. But we don't want our whole drums to have reverb, um, so we're going to do it. We'll add a little hall, and then we're going to scroll down here, and then we'll add it here. And that's our auxiliary send for that. Ah, doesn't that sound better? Yeah, we have our bass drum. That's good. And we're going to do a, a ride cymbal. And uh, the cymbal that we have here, that's not going to be appropriate. So let's change that out. And we'll put in a ride cymbal. Um, and we're going to go here again. We get all our cymbals here. Um, and so now we're going to do a search for a ride. That's probably a little too much. Uh, those are crashes. That's no good. So we're going to go and look. Oh, look, it tells us ride right there. RD ride. That's not a bad one. I sort of like the rare ones. Those are, that's a specific type. That'll be really good. So we'll double click on that. And now that's here. So I'll add a little reverb. And maybe I, it's just ringing a little long. So I'm going to take that there. Let's hear this again. We'll take the level down. All right, good. We could pan that over a little bit to the right to sort of represent the way that the right symbol might sound. And now <clears throat> we're going to uh, program in. Now, as I said, this was a two, um, two measures. So we're going to have, instead of 16 steps, we're going to have 32 steps. 32 steps with still a 16th note um, breakdown. So 32 steps is going to be in two measures. And then we're going to go and edit each set of 16 steps here. So first we'll get our, our, our kick drum going. And we remember that that rhythm was boom, 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 boom. So we have a downbeat on one. We might make that hard. So it's downbeat of one. And then we're going to have the and of two. So the, here's one and here's two and and here's three and here's four and let's hear this one and two and three and four and then we don't hear anything what's going on ah that's our second measure so now we'll do the same thing here and we'll put a downbeat on our on our second bar So now, 
There we go, a little correction. That's always good to hear. We've got our kick going. We might want that a little deeper and a little darker. And maybe not so much ring. We bring that down. And now we're going to have our ride cymbal. And that's going to play on our eighth notes. And so we might have a medium here and then soft. So I have every eighth note going. And then again, I got to program my second measure. So now I'm going to program downbeats and then soft. So one and two and. So we're going pretty good here. But now we're going to put in our rim shot. We'll remember that our our rim shot was dun ch ga ja ga ch ga. It went one da ch ga da ch ga ga one two and then and a three. So we're gonna put two and then and of three. So here we are on two and then our and of three. Notice that we're in our first steps. We're going to go to our second half of the bar. Maybe we'll turn down our kick a little bit. Turn down our ride cymbal just a little bit. Now, we have a really good, really good bossa nova beat, and that's our pattern number one. And then when we want to put that into here, we have our redrum here, and now we're going to need to have a pattern lane. So we're going to put this and click create pattern lane, take our pencil tool. We're going to do this for bars. It's going to quantize it so it puts it right at bars, and here's our pattern one, and we're going to go all the way back to the beginning and then we can place our pattern. But now our pattern is a two bar pattern, a two bar pattern. So that if we zoom out a little bit here, zoom in a little bit rather, we can see that the pattern is lasting for two measures. And then if I hit play, then my two bar pattern is now playing and it's easily placed in there. So there you go. And I can edit that as much as I want. And then when I put it into my track, then it'll be really nice. So if I decide my levels, I want to change a little bit. Or maybe if I want to um, make another pattern and add brushes instead of that, um, I can do that. Or change my rim shot. All different kinds of things. So there you have it. Really easy. This is how you do a bossa nova drum part in redrum.